Hi guys, it's Adam, and I thought since I had a uh, fair few sales yesterday, I will do an orders going out video. Um, ooh, that's my battery telling me I've got low battery. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to whiz through really. I've still got a couple of parcels to wrap up, and I've had a few requests from buyers um, about not wanting it sent, signed for, and could he, could, could I um, ask the courier, who is Royal Mail, to drop it at the side of their house, uh, which is yeah a bit of an odd request, and there's, but I don't think there's any way of me doing that, so I'm going to have to contact him and say, unfortunately I cannot do that, um, but I know that he can set up a, uh, at what's known as an official safe place where you get your postman to drop it, you know, by the side of your house or in your shed or whatever, if you're not in to take the parcel. Um, I'm not too keen on sending it. Um, just normal Royal Mail instead of sign for because it's about a 15 to 20 quid item so yeah but you get these buyers as your sales increase you get more and more like sort of ridiculous requests um, so yeah actually I won't turn that over because I'm hiding the address that way um, this is a fellow uh, 11 quid that's going out for nothing great uh, but yeah that, so that's alright uh, Monopoly Derbyshire edition. As you can see, I've really well packed these. That's another reason I, I should do more of these um, orders going out videos because I can show you a bit more in depth of, of the packing I use. Um, when it's an over 20 quid game, I basically have a system where if it's a 10 quid game or 8 quid game, I do um, like a um, poly bag, a poly mailer for it as long as the box is in fairly good condition if it's a board game um, then if it's like a 10 to 20 quid game I'll wrap it in bubble wrap but I'll only go once or maybe twice round and then it's, if it's a 20 plus game I will wrap it in bubble wrap four or five times round so that's why that is really thick now the bubble wrap I get it, I spend £4.14 on 100 meters so it's very minimal cost to me even if I go round it a few times and then obviously I do the black cling foam. Now that was a £10 game, but the box is in really sturdy condition. Um, so instead of putting it in, in a poly mailer, I just wrapped it round about five or six times, or maybe even a bit more than that, with um, with this black, black cling film. And that does the trick. It, it's still, it, it's fairly sturdy once you've wrapped it round a few times. And it's just really fine. Um, it's just as good as a poly mailer. Um, this is 740 grams of, yeah it's a bit of a random number, but 740 grams of yellow Lego bricks and pieces. I was trying it in colour and it's actually worked. I, I sold 740 grams for 15.99 plus 2.99 shipping and that isn't even a kilogram, that's 740 grams. And that was off the job lot that I'm already in profit on. So after postage and fees that's pure profit. Um, got Lego figures from that job lot. Uh, Lego, yeah, another Lego figure from that job lot. Uh, top trumps, they're going out for, I think it's between like 5 and 10 quid. Um, Lego guns from that job lot again, and well in profit on, 4 99 And some top trumps for about 4 quid. Um, Lego windows and doors from that job lot again, they're going out for tenner. Um, Lego base plates, vintage ones, I think they're going out for a tenner as well. Lego police bikes, going out for six quid. Uh, Sims expansion pack and the four disc base game, it's going out for 23. Oh sorry, that Monopoly Derbyshire edition, that's going out for 26. So that was quite nice. I bought that for two as well. Um, What's this? Oh, these are Lego Lattice Towers, they're called, in lime green. They're going out for six or seven. Um, another minifigure, Zombie Driver, I think that one is. That's only going out for three or four. But as I say, I'm well in profit on that job lot, so anything else is fine. These are these te Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle party bags I do. Got a job lot ages ago, and I'm well in profit on them, but they only, they only go out for sort of like one pound odd it's, it's, it's nothing really i only make a few pence so once they're gone they're gone 
Uh, I bought a big, big job lot when I started reselling and they just tick away, but I wouldn't get them again. Uh, these are uh, Elizabeth the uh, sixpences. I uh, got them off my granddad and he said I pulled them from a garage. He does like um, garage clearances and stuff for older people, even though he is older himself. Um, but he's very fit for his age. Um, and yeah, he pulled those out of the garage and he said, do you want to sell those? So yeah, I said, yeah, I'll do, I'll, I'll, I'll sell those for you. And he said, you just keep the money. So yeah, that was quite nice. And what's this one here? This is Waddington's block word. Um, to be honest, I've done really well remembering what all those are. Um, this is Waddington's block word. This is going out for just over a tenner. Um, again, I've done my old um, just one round with bubble wrap and then black cling film because it's a tenner. So I think that's quite a cool little system I have with board games. I do um, either poly mailer or just black round black cling film if it's below a tenner, like eight to ten quid. If it's over a tenner, I do one round with bubble wrap and then black cling film. And then if it's over twenty, I do you know three or four times round with bubble wrap and then the black cling film. And that works for me. I like that. It's fairly cost effective as well because the bubble wrap is so cheap and the black cling film is less I think it's is it less than a penny a meter? I think it is. Um so I can just I can literally use like, you know, ten meters of black cling film on a package and it's only gonna set me back ten pence. Um boxes I reuse of course and I get wine boxes from uh, Sainsbury's and I get uh, and I, I get a lot of packages from Amazon Anyway, when I'm doing like online arbitrage, or well, I used to get a lot of packages from Amazon. I don't do as much online arbitrage anymore, but I do. Um, I obviously snipe on eBay and stuff, and I get boxes from that. Um, and then wine boxes as well. I only generally need about two boxes a week, so it's not too bad. But as my listings increase, I'm going to need more boxes. So I will have to try and get some more of those. I actually live... Um, near a, a business estate where it's just full of freight um, like not is it like shipping or parcel I don't know what I don't know what you call them but the businesses that basically deal with freight and shipping and all that sort of stuff so they have loads of empty boxes um, and I'm, I'm thinking I could probably go nip over to there and ask them if I could just go through the bins and grab a couple of boxes because I've seen some nice boxes in their bins, so that's another avenue. Um, but it's really easy to find boxes. Uh, Jiffy bags I get online uh, through the links that Nick uh, has on his website. They're great. Um, and yeah, so they're like pence each as well. And then the envelopes, you can get them online and you can get like a hundred for two pound odd on Amazon. So yeah. Yeah, there's a black thing from there. And then there's my knife. I'm thinking of getting a better knife, but I don't know. I mean, this is really good. It's really, really sharp. I've just put a new blade on it as well. Um, but I just want, like, a cooler looking one. Like, like maybe all black or something. That'd be pretty cool. Um, so, yeah, that's me. That's that done. I forgot how much I've taken. Um, but, yeah, I've had 15 sales over the weekend. Um, and a few on Amazon, but nothing great on Amazon. Um, but yeah, it could, it's definitely a few hundred quid weekend between eBay and Amazon. Um, so I'm happy with that. Be, being that I'm part time, I'm 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 happy with that. Um, so yeah, I mean, I say I'm part time. I put loads of work in anyway, really. But um, yeah, so I will see you very soon, guys. Hope you enjoyed this little quick video. And yeah, um, I will be. I think I'll. Do probably just do Thursday talks this week. Um, got a busy week with listing and stuff, and basically replenishing all my stock. Um, so yeah, see you soon, guys, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Hi guys, I thought I would just add this bit on the end, um, just a little bit about my Lego job lot. I did promise this video. Um, I'm still sorting through it. I've sort of gone gone away from it and then come back to it and done other you know listed other things and stuff um so it's just been sort of sat there the majority of the time or sat down there um while i've been taking photos of other stuff and, and uh yeah so 
it is it was or it was just over 10 kilos i think it was close to 11 kilos um i pulled out random bits with the help of family members and some of the bits here aren't anything special um but other bits are um i don't think that lad is anything special unless i can bundle it with something um yeah so i've got all these here i've got i've, I've put a lot of it on i have i have sorted through a fair bit i mean it was this tub i had to fill this tub up about well close to two times so this is the second lot um it actually came in two big bin bags and this tub holds about five or six kilograms of lego so i've i've, I've pretty much uh, put the first lot in condensed that down and then i put the other bin bag full in so yeah i've got down quite a bit of it really in the past few days whilst doing other things of course um and yeah, I've pulled out tons of plates, I've listed plates, I've listed um, loads of these, I think there's five of these um, 16 by 16 in various styles, there's some more there, and there are those ones, um, I listed some tiles, um, some clear windows, oh and by the way I paid 100 quid for just over 10 kilos so I did pay up a bit it's a little bit more than I'd like to pay but there's certainly money in it and here's one of the reasons why there's money in it um, in there is the Harry Potter night bus um, now I don't know whether it's complete but she did say in the listing I think I think she said in the listing or I may have messaged her um, and I found out that it apparently was complete but I never believe I never trust people anymore because of charity shops always saying things are complete when they're not. So yeah, it does have all the figures. I've pulled the figures out there. Um, I actually got this thing. Just I'm getting a little sidetracked here, but I actually got. How do you open it now? There's a little hinge there. I actually got this thing off my granddad. Um, and as as I mentioned in the previous uh, video that you will have just seen. Um, he does like garage clearances and stuff and he pulled this out and he said do you want this can you sell that and I don't know whether I can but I'll have a, I'll certainly list it and see if I can try and sell it and it's a set of scales it's got these glass uh, glass panels here that uh, you can put these little weights on I don't know how old it is I, I, I couldn't tell you um, I don't know uh, I, I, w I would be speculating, but I imagine like 30s, 40s, maybe 50s, I don't know. I, I don't know. But um, yeah, that's pretty cool. So I'm going to, I don't know, I'm going to research it. I don't know how I'm going to research it. I'll try and see if there's a maker's mark on it or something. Um, but I think I can get 20 quid for that. It's a nice item. Um, if not, a bit more, but I don't know. I'll have to research it. Um, so just put all the minifigs back on here. Um, I've been listing hard recently, as I've probably said in a couple of previous videos. Um, mainly Lego there. Um, and yeah, I've listed some of this job lot and it's already sold. I've got about 10 or 20 quid back out of 100 quid already. And that's what I love about Lego. As soon as you list it, you can be getting those sales coming in. Um, which is really, really fantastic. So... I don't know my expected returns, but there's certainly more than 100 quid's worth of Lego. Pulled out these figures, there's about 25 figures in here, plus another six figures that are listed that, that were sort of suitable for listing individually rather than in bundles. Um, and those three of those minifigures that I've already listed were £10 minifigures. So that's 30 quid out my, my investment back from them as well. Plus the night bus, plus all the plates. Plus about six or seven kilogram bags, plus some tan bricks that there's probably some more. Yeah, there is, I can see. There's a tan brick. So there's probably some more tan in there. Plus these weird random pieces here, which are pretty cool. Uh, trans blue. And then plus some like random pieces there, whatever I can get out of that lot. There's definitely money in it. Def definitely easy over the hundred. Um, plus some trees but not enough to make a bundle these sand green pieces actually came out of the previous job lot with all the harry potter stuff um, 
and yeah what else and treasure chests and stuff treasure chest goes in a nice little bundle of like five of them but you can only get sort of like three or four well four four or five quid maybe um but yeah so there's definitely money in it I, I i'd only be speculating if i if i said a, a number of the amount of profit i'm going to make or you know a, 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 an amount of a sales total or anything at this stage but yeah definitely over a hundred quid um so yeah, that's really awesome. Happy that I've done this video finally. Um, it did come last week on Tuesday night, and it's now Monday, um, the following week. So yeah, I've not just not got round to doing the vid really. Um, well, I did record it, but then um, I forgot to add it in. So then I had to delete that video and then re-record it. Um, so yeah, I think that's it. That's pretty much all I wanted to show you. Oh, and the, yeah. Uh, there was one more thing. Bloody weird dinosaur. Now, I don't know what the hell that dinosaur is meant to be. But it's got like legs of a triceratops. Or zuniceratops, if you, you want to get technical. Um, it's got like the tail of some sort of weird velociraptor that's gone wrong. It's got the printing... I don't even know what bloody dinosaur had that design on it, but anyway. Um, I mean, it's got some weird, like, Predator X head. I mean, it's got these little Velociraptor little um, claws here. Sort of like Velociraptor. Or maybe uh, Dilophosaurus. Is that how you pronounce it? Dilophosaurus? Anyway, I don't know. Um, oh, yeah. Show you this while, while I'm doing a video. I'll show you this. Lego ruler, entirely made out of Lego. Pretty cool. Um, yeah, I'm I'm in the process of slowly converting all my stationery to Lego. I want to get some Lego pens, but they're really expensive. And I'm getting well, I've I've already got it actually. I'll just quickly whip in here to show you because I think this is pretty cool. It's definitely worth showing anyway. And I've got the old. Lego pencil pot. I don't know why my focus isn't working very well today. It's like my camera needs to clean or something, but yeah. Lego pencil pot. Cool. So, yeah, that'll do it for me. That'll do it for this video. Um, I've just basically been packing up and, and labelling and stuff today. It's been crazy. Uh, I need to take them back into the room. I've still got a few to go out. I couldn't actually do it in one in one go there was 16 i think 15 16 parcels and i had both hands full walking up to the post office so i decided to do it in two trips today i walked down to the post office because it's only five minutes away and you know everyone needs a bit of exercise so oh yeah there's another one down there and i still uh, am await awaiting to hear back from the buyer on that so i need to i need to hear back from him um but yeah, that's, I'll give you a bit of a pan of the room, just um, as a little outro. So that's all the Lego. And then we've got all the listed stock. As you can see, it's sort of Lego slow, slowly sort of taking over the room. Um, I mean, all that there. And that is really disorganised. I need to organise that. But it's just finding the time to do that as well. And I've got five kilogram bags up there. Got kilogram bags there. It's crazy. Um, yeah. So I will see you very soon, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. And um, hope everyone's sales are doing well. I know my, mine certainly are. And um, yeah. See you soon, guys. <laughs>